Yo, 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 what is going on guys? It is your boy Optic Scumpy bringing you the other gameplay that I got from the Red Bull offices that I told you guys about. Um, this was the 81 and 0 flawless gameplay that I said that I got and that I, I am blind sometimes. I saw in my last video that that guy was in that corner on the stairs and I even had my V set up and I still didn't recognize that he was there, which is absolutely ridiculous. I obviously need to get my eyesight checked, which doesn't even make sense. Because I went to the eye doctor before I came out to the house. But, uh, that was a pretty good transition, which wasn't even meant to be. Um, this commentary today is about the house and how it's been uh, up to this point. Obviously, there's still a long, long time that we're going to be living here. But, I just want to talk about, you know, my expectations of the house and were those filled or were those not filled. So I think this will be a pretty good commentary for you guys, let you know a little bit more, a little bit more information about the house. So the house has been great so far. Uh, the only real problem that I've had with the house uh, is being stressed out a lot, and that's because I'm so far away from home. Uh, my girlfriend's obviously back at home. All my friends and family are all, are all, are, all, are all back at home. So I've been stressing out a lot just because of those things. Um, other than that, there's really no complaints about the house. Our daily routine. It's pretty great. We actually wake up, uh, usually shower, you know, do all our cosmetics and shit, brush your teeth, aesthetics, aesthetics, aesthetics. And then um, after we go to the gym, we will usually come back, um, go, go get something to eat, and then shower again, which Matt never showers, so he usually doesn't shower at all. I'm just kidding. He showers. But, um... But then, yeah, we'll go out, we'll go get something to eat, come back, and then we'll play video games until, A, we get sick of it, or B, we don't have anything else to do. So, you know, like, it, it's, it sounds like the perfect life, and it really is. It's, there's not a lot to do um, other than that. I've been learning to do my laundry, learn to do dishes. I've learned to do a whole bunch of household things that I didn't know what to do. And I know you guys are probably like, you guys, you didn't know how to do laundry? Like, are you fucking retarded? And... I never had to worry about laundry because my mom is the best. So there's your answer to that. And right here, I don't know. I thought that I could like, I thought that I was like, oh shit, I just found a secret passageway or something to some top extra thing. But I ended up finding out that it wasn't. So I was pretty disappointed. But the hygiene of the house has also been uh, a little hard to deal with. I'm used to coming to a house that's very, very clean. Um, my room especially, I mean, my room was the only thing that wasn't clean in my old house. So transitioning into this house is a little weird. The kitchen's always really, really messy, but that's to be expected. I mean, there's four dudes living in a house, and then Hector stops by pretty much every day. So it's been a little bit messy there. You know, it's it's nothing big. It's just, you know, stuff's left out. Uh, not, like, important stuff like the milk gets put back, but I'm talking about, like, just breads just sitting places inside of the bag, not outside. Uh, there's just a lot of clutter everywhere. We pretty much we leave a lot of stuff out. And, uh, it's, I really don't care. Um, I know that Joey is the, the one that cares about the, the cleanliness of the house, which is, you know, which is good because we definitely need someone that cares about it. And, uh, I would say it's about a seven or eight out of 10 compared to my old house. You know, it's not bad. I, I can really deal with it, but the expectations, like I said, of the house, it's been amazing so far. Um, I couldn't be more happy with it. The amount of interaction that we've been getting with subscribers, uh, with Twitch, with a whole bunch of different social media outlets has been great. There's nothing that I can complain about. It's been just absolutely phenomenal. The amount of feedback that we've been getting and the amount of support that we've been getting for this, you know, I don't want to say risky uh, transition into the house, but I mean, it is a little bit of a risk. We're taking off of school. I'm taking off of college, which is really the big thing. I'm not even going to college this year, <clears throat> while all of my friends are going to be going away in you know a couple of months. So that's the big thing for me. But the risk has definitely been paying off so far. I've seen such an increase in subscribers. It's been ridiculous. And I want to thank all of you guys, new subscribers, old, old subscribers. I actually just hit 275,000 subscribers yesterday, which yeah. was pretty immense. Dude, this is a commentary, not a live com. But like I was saying before Matt interrupted me, I want to thank all the new subscribers and old subscribers uh, for my channel. It's been absolutely crazy the amount of growth that we've all seen since moving into the team house. And uh, the support that you guys are giving us really does mean a lot. Uh, obviously, it's not possible without you guys. But the practice schedule has been a little bit iffy. Um, we haven't been playing that much, and I think that we should be playing more. 
the past couple of days we've been playing GBs and stuff, but I think that we're going to actually start to scrim today. Uh, we leave for Gfinity in like four days, so that isn't a lot of time to get ready. We really do need to start grinding out practice sessions instead of playing game battles and stuff. And that's to be expected. I mean, there isn't really any tournaments coming up other than Gfinity for a long time after Gfinity. So that's going to be our little break period. I know I'm going home for a couple weeks, and then there's UMG Atlanta, and then Joey's going to a wedding, I think. So we're not going to be attending that. Um, and it's just a lot of traveling anyway. Like going straight from Gfinity to UMG Atlanta would be uh, a lot of traveling, and I don't think anybody would have been up for it anyway. So it, it really doesn't matter. But like I said, our break period will be then. Uh, I'm pretty sure Matt and Will are definitely staying at the house as well as Joey. I'm pretty sure Joey's only going to be gone for like a couple of days or or a weekend. And um, I'm going to be the only one gone. I want to go visit my friends and stuff before they go off to college. I want to go visit my girlfriend, my mom, you know, all, everybody. Uh, I just want to go visit home. So that's going to be fun. I cannot, I can't wait to visit home. I'm so homesick. It's ridiculous. But um, like I said, practice schedule, eh. The practice schedule could, could be a little bit better. Um, but we're definitely, we're definitely working on that. And yeah. And then the last thing that I really wanted to talk about was the videos. So the first couple of days, it was really awkward trying to make videos in the gaming room. We don't have separate computers for our rooms, and I don't think that we're going to be getting them anymore. We were planning on doing that. But it really hasn't been that bad. It really hasn't been that awkward making them. Because usually our teammates add something to the video. Like Matt obviously coming up here and butting into my commentary. He's actually not in the room anymore. But, you know, it just adds that extra, I don't know. It's just, I, I think it's good. I think it's funny whenever a teammate interacts uh, in our other videos. It gives you a chance to see them, you know, see their shenaniganry and all that good stuff. But that's going to be the end of the commentary, guys. If you enjoyed it, make sure you hit the like button down below. Favorite if you really enjoyed it. Comment. Let me know what you thought of the video. And there's the crazy ending. I get stuck and the game ends. I'm going to end my flawless. And uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow me on Twitter. It'll be in the description below. But as always, guys, this is your Brad Scumpy. Peace.